This is Boat Build. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Boat Build on the Drift, right here on Facebook. You know, in New England, from Maine to Rhode Island, there are a number of small boat builders. Guys who build boats in sheds and garages and back lot. We found one in Tiverton, Rhode Island. It's Coastal Boat Works. Well, Billy over at Coastal is going to build a 30-foot picnic boat for us. And we are going to document it right here on Boat Build. Here's Billy, Coastal Bolt Works, getting it done. Bill, good to see you, man. Good to see you. All right, so I'm anxious to see the 30-footer and the progress inside, but before we do that, what are you working on here? This is uh, a great bass boat design. Yep, this is our Ross 24. Uh, we converted it into a bass style. Our normal is the picnic style. So we right now we're working on the hard top, and uh, we're going to be shaping that. And getting that ready for mounting. So this is a so Ross for a lot of years was known as a solid inboard fishing lobster boat. Right. You're starting to do something different on these, and you're going to do this on ours as well. What do we have going on over here? This is a uh, Ross flotational bracket. Um, we designed it to accommodate for the heavier engines, so it has a flotation device where it channels the water right to the cavitation plate get your nice swim platform for your ladder and whatnot. Creates a little bit more space on the interior of the boat, maybe a back bench seat or whatnot. And uh, everybody seems to like it. So tell me a little bit about Coastal Boat Works and Ross Boat. Ross Boats have been around for a long time, right? Right. Ross Boats was, oh, probably established somewhere in 83. And my brother and I split off and I started Coastal Boat Works and my brother recently passed away in the last seven years so I took over the brand and now I'm continue building them. So out of this pretty decent sized shed here in Tiverton, yeah. you're doing a number of different kinds of boats. Tell me a little bit about the kinds of boats that you do here. Well, you know, of course we got the Ross and right. then I have my own brand, the Cutters. We yeah. have a Cutter 23. Uh, 16. So you hand, everything's hand laid. Everything flat. is done by hand. Old style. Old, old, style. old school. Old school. Yeah. We love the Hinkleys, right? Everybody right. loves the Hinkley. Right. So you, and when I told you that, you said, look, we can build something like that, a picnic style boat. So we well, came that, up with some sketches and away we go. Yeah, we, we try to keep everybody in boating. I mean, Hinkley is an expensive boat, but you know, you can customize our boat and make it into what you want at a low cost keeps mm -hmm. you in the water and that's what we're all about is keeping our customers in the water keeping it affordable as best as we can of course the material prices are pretty outrageous mm -hmm. but we maintain we lower our labor rate and try to just help everybody you know my my personal business is keeping everybody in the water all right i'm excited about getting in there and seeing right, let's go let's check go. it out let's check it out all right. next time on boat build how does the mold process work? Just tell me about that. Right, right. We, cast, we cast the shell and then when we pull it out, um, we put the stringers in and whatnot. We have a four stringer system. When it comes to the transom, we do a three quarter laminate one at a time. This is Boat Build, right here at the Drift. Presented by Sociable, original social media programming.